If you run any type of business where you need to book appointments, classes, consultations, or anything of that nature, then you are going to need a booking plugin for your WordPress website. In this video, you will learn how to use a WordPress booking plugin called Amelia to insert an event calendar, an event list, or a booking wizard on a page on your website so that your clients and customers can book your services in just a few clicks. And I'm also going to show you how to set up Thrive Automator so that your clients and customers will be automatically added to your email list. Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I invite you to do that. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when we publish new videos. So there's a variety of industries that might require a booking plugin on your website. If you run a dance, yoga, or martial arts studio, if you're maybe an academic tutor, if you're a freelancer and you need to book consultations, I can even see beauty salons, electricians, and accountants utilizing a booking plugin. So let me quickly show you what we're going to accomplish in this video. Using the Amelia plugin, you can insert a calendar of events and to book an event, you can simply click on it and then follow the prompts. You can also insert a booking wizard where you can book appointments. Again, you just follow the prompts and you can also insert a list of events and to book an event, simply click on it. So those are the main things you can do with Amelia. I encourage you to visit the Amelia website to learn all about what Amelia offers. Now, a challenge you might run into with a booking plugin is connecting it to your email service. Once your customer signs up for an appointment or an event, how do you add that person to your email list? That is a pretty important task because email marketing is such a fantastic way to keep your customers coming back. And the last thing you wanna do is to add each person manually every time someone signs up for one of your services. That's a very tedious task that takes up your precious time. Thankfully, Thrive Automator makes that task super easy. All you have to do is set up a simple automation. And so then every time someone will book an event or an appointment, their data will be automatically sent to your email service with no extra effort from you required. Now, as far as setting up the back end of Amelia, I would recommend watching Amelia's tutorials. We will be sure to link their YouTube channel below. For this demonstration, I have set up a recurring event, which you can see here. And to access your events, you can simply go to Amelia and events. After you set up your events, appointments, and services, then it's time to either add a calendar, events list, or wizard to your page. I'm going to be using Thrive Architect, which is our page building tool. It's great for landing pages, sales pages, thank you pages. You can also use it to create a gorgeous home page or to create visually impressive blog posts. Now, the way you add an Amelia element to your page in Thrive Architect is by using shortcodes. So let's go to the list of Amelia shortcodes, and we will be sure to link this page down in the description. But all you have to do is copy and paste the shortcode that you want to display, and then paste it onto the page. So for example, if you want to display a calendar, simply look for the shortcode for the calendar. Here it is. And then all you have to do is copy it. And then let's hop back over to WordPress. Let's go to pages and then look for the page that you want to insert your calendar on. This is the page I'd like to use and then click edit with Thrive Architect. And let's scroll down to where I would like to insert the calendar. I'd like to insert it right here. And then you can use either the text or the WordPress content element. So let's go to add element and the text element is right here. Simply drag and drop this into place. And then you can simply paste in the short code. So now I'll go ahead and save the page and let's take a look at what this looks like. And here's our calendar. Now, if you would like to add an events list or a booking wizard, the steps are the same. Just copy and paste the corresponding short code. Next, let's make sure that your email marketing service is receiving your client and customer information from Amelia so that you can grow your email list. To do this, we're going to use Thrive Automator. Now, if you're not familiar with Thrive Automator, it's a completely free plugin and it's available on the WordPress plugin directory. And it also comes with Thrive Suite. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and download and install Thrive Automator. 
Before we proceed, you will need to make sure that you have connected your email service to Thrive. It is really easy to do, and we have a handy page that has specific instructions for all of the major email services. We will be sure to link that below. So, so far we have an Amelia element displayed on a page on our website. We have downloaded Thrive Automator and we've connected our email marketing service to Thrive. With all of that done, now we are ready to set up our automation. And I think you're going to be amazed at just how easy this is. So let's go to Thrive Automator. And let's click the button to create your first automation. And the first thing we'll have to do is select a trigger. So let's select Amelia booking and let's select event booking created. And we want this to trigger always. So let's click done. And now we will need to add an action. So for this one, let's choose email and we want to add the user in autoresponder. And once you have connected your email service to thrive, it should show up here. I'm going to choose MailChimp. Then if you have multiple lists, you'll need to select which list to add the user to. Now field mapping is actually quite important. This is how we're going to make sure that the data gets saved to the right places in MailChimp. So let's take a look at this dropdown. And in the left hand column, let's select first name. And then in the right hand column, let's select insert dynamic data. And let's go to Amelia event data and we're going to select customer first name. So now we are going to be mapping the first name field um, in our email service to the first name provided by Amelia. Let's also do the same thing for the last name. So I'll click add new. And then in the left column, I'll select last name. And then in the right column, let's click insert dynamic data. And again, let's go to Amelia event data and let's select customer last name and the email address will be automatically passed along. So we don't need to specify that. So let's scroll down here. And for the opt-in, you can choose either single or double opt-in. If you choose double opt-in, you'll need to make sure that your email service is set up for that. For now, I'll select single. And finally, let's add a tag so that we know what our new email list subscriber is interested in so that later on, if we want to market to everyone with a particular tag, we can do that. For example, you can send a special offer to everyone who's signed up for a particular class. And when you're finished, just click done. All right. So here is our final automation. So when an Amelia event booking is created, then we are going to add the user to our email autoresponder. When you are happy with your automation, be sure to click active and that will make the automation start running and then click save and finish. And that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and test our automation. I've got my Amelia calendar here. Let's click on an event and I'll click the button to book now and I'll just follow the wizard. All right. So it says my booking is completed. Let's hop on over to MailChimp and let's take a look at my contacts. And here we go. A new contact has been added to my email list. All right. So that was how to insert an event or appointment booking element from Amelia on your WordPress website using Thrive Architect and also how to pass customer information to your email service. I hope it was helpful. Any resources that I mentioned will be linked down below. Also, be sure to check out Thrive Architect and Thrive Automator. You can get all of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.